What is up YouTube, Skiz1 here. Today I have a review for you of the Dalo Industrial Paint Marker. So this is a ballpoint a pen. Now the ballpoint says that it is 2.4 millimeters or that it lays down lines that are 2.4 millimeters. So just for comparison that is bigger than say a normal whiteout pen but definitely smaller than something like a grog metal head. Um, if you are looking to compare I have done reviews of some other ballpoint markers as well, one of which being the Grog Metalhead. I'll link you to that video in the description and on screen. Another of which also being the On The Run Flow Pen with the ballpoint. Again, link on screen and in the description. So those are all very similar in terms of their style of ballpoint. One thing that is specifically unique to a Dalo marker is that it has this little knob on the end of it and that is a pump system so the instructions on the Dalo marker say that you have to pump this to provide flow to the tip one thing I've found using this is it's very hard to tell when you've pumped enough because sometimes it seems like you've been pumping it forever and nothing will flow other times it doesn't seem like you're pumping that often and it flows perfectly fine a reason for that could be because the ballpoint is fairly small, and of course the smaller the ballpoint, the greater the chance of it not rolling or not flowing properly, and I can tell you that the paint formula in these Dalo markers is very thick and a little bit sticky, so that also doesn't facilitate the best flow in these markers. This marker does come in a few different colors. The colors indicated by the color here, this one is white. You can get them in almost any of the primary or basic colors, red, yellow, green, blue, that sort of thing. It does say on the markers and in most places you can get them that it takes about 25 to 30 minutes for this to dry. Most places sell these for around $6 or that's what they should be. So we are going to take this and uh, test it on a few different surfaces. Using this before I found that it writes well on a lot of rough surfaces. It does just fine on wood and it does very well actually on rust. Smoother surfaces it does fine as well. The only thing I can tell you right now is this is not something that you can write very quickly with, so if you are looking for something to write fast with, that might be a different kind of pen. With that being said, we're going to take it outside and do a little bit of surface testing with it. So I'm outside here now. What we're going to do is we're going to test this out on first some wood, and after that we're going to try some painted cardboard there. So right now I'm going to start uh, pumping this, getting it ready. So I'm going to have pumped it for about 30 seconds and we're going to see how well it works after that amount of time pumping. And of course after we'll try on metal and rust. So that started up really nicely with just about 30 seconds of pumping. As you can see it wrote fairly quickly as well. So I just laid something down very quick here, it doesn't look that great, sorry. But you can see here, when you pick it up, you get these sort of stringy bits that come off with it. Um, so they're on the end of all points of your letters and that sort of thing. But that is sort of a cool effect that you can work with when you're writing with this. So we're going to try this out on the painted cardboard now. So just after writing the one tag there and the partial tag here, it has started to not flow. So I am going to pump this a little bit more. So one thing you can take from that is that if you do want to write continuously with this, you do want to be continuously pumping it. So it did start working again right after I pumped it. So again, you do just have to keep on the pumping with this marker. So as you can see, I have a painted surface here rust right next to it. We're going to try this out on both and see how it performs. So it really likes the painted uh, metal. It runs really smoothly across it and as you can see it does have a few little streaks in the A and the L there but generally good output. It's not jamming up or anything like that. Now for the real test. So 
So it had a bit of a hard time on the metal. Uh, I do have to say though, this tag right beside it um, is written with this exact ALO marker as well. So it can write on metal, just a little bit inconsistently. You have to make sure you have a ton of pump in it, and then if you do, it might roll a little bit smoothly. I went over these lines a couple times on both of these tags, so it makes it look a bit clearer. But generally, if you just do one pass over, you're gonna get letters like maybe the A right there, or the L. So it's far from terrible for writing on metal. And the ballpoint I found rolled fairly smoothly with these surface tests. It did exceedingly well on the metal specifically, which it should for being an industrial paint marker. On all surfaces it wrote really well. I found that you could write quickly on it if you didn't have to repump it, but most of the time you do have to pump it a lot. Overall this is a really nice product. It seems to be solid, it seems to be consistent, it can be applied to a variety of different uses. It does have a very large body, so it does come with a lot of paint in it. Overall I'd have to say I'd give this a 4 out of 5. It is a solid marker although I would like the pump system to be a little more clear-cut and to not have to operate it as much. That's all for this review though, you can check my other reviews out that I mentioned in the description below. Until my next video, rate, comment, subscribe. Peace.